Hello everyone, my name is Lamin from Gunjo. I'm a member of SeaTac. SeaTac is an umbrella body of different environmental groups that came together um, to do the activity. Our aim is to make sure that we make an impact into our community, mainly environmental impact that will lead us to do certain eco ecotourism events and as well to boost the economy of the whole Gunjur. CETA comprises of five um, environmental groups, Eco Travel Gambia, Dalaba Ecology, Gunjur Conservation Society, and Gunjur Village Mission and Tarot. We came in contact with My Gambia, which we form an agreement. Um, they normally send us volunteers. Um, these volunteers live with the local community. The aim of this is to um, narrow the gap between the, the people from different parts of the world. They came to Gambia, they learned from us, we also learn a lot from them, because these are people that came from different backgrounds. We realize a little bit financial benefit from this that will that money will go around in the community one of the activities that we do is the total monitoring activity what we wanted to do when we monitor the turtle, when it's um, the, the, the turtle, we have a high cleanse. We wanted to keep few, not many. We have a tank and we have a big expert that are coming to teach and train some members of CTAC so that they can take care of this turtle for one or two years so that they can grow a little bit. They are ready to release. We have our mechanisms that we are putting in place how to release those turtles. So that also will create an employment opportunity and incentives of course for the, the community. Sea turtles are endangered species and you have a lot of threat for the sea turtle. That is why we are prepared to make sure that we maintain the sea turtle on the surface of the earth. They will not go extinct. also have Gunjur Village Museum. This also is our partners. We also send our volunteers. CTAC is trying to meet different people, like um, people that are into weaving, tailoring. And these are interesting things. also have a women garden, very interesting. You go and see how Gambian women are working very, very hard to earn their ends meet. This is interesting that you come and see how women contribute into our economy. I could tell you the women in the Gambia are the backbone of the economy. We are developing, we are developing countries so everybody play, you contribute. To, to, to do something to um, enhance the living standard of your family. Uh, another event that we do is nature work. We, we, we are trying to manage certain um, forests covered around our end. One of the very popular forests that we are trying to manage is Bolonfenyo Community Wildlife Reserve. It has a whole range of different trees, and we have a lagoon that also have uh, some crocodiles. If you're lucky enough, you might see some. We also have a trail of medicinal trees. People can come and learn trees that we have. We Gambia is have a diverse trees, and some are very medicinal that will be beneficial for people to come and know. There are a lot of research that needs to be done to know the importance of those trees. 
we also meet a new people who are very, working very hard in their in their forest they have an amazing forest and we stop we still have some animals very rare animals into that forest it will be interesting to come and see wild animals that are not tame the other thing that SeaTac is planned to start is the tree nursery. We came to realize that we are losing a lot of indigenous trees and some of these indigenous trees are going extinct. How can we maintain this? How can we restore these um, trees that are already in very critical and dangerous? What we wanted to do is to create an indigenous nursery tree for each of these forests. After each of the rainy season, we wanted to make sure we restore um, indigenous trees that are endangered into our forests. One of the ways that we can com contribute to the climate change is the medication. How can we mitigate the climate change is to make sure that we enhance our forest and our ozone. For, for, for people from the Gambia, we can enhance our forest very, very well. But for the ozone, it's very challenging because we didn't have much material to do that. Environmental issues has no border. It's a global challenge. It's our responsibility as first people who came to who came to experience the climate change and will be the first, last people to mitigate this. How can we do this? We have to come together. So if you want to have this experience with Gunju, please, we are very welcome. It's, the door is always open for you. There are a lot of things that we can do. We need professionals, we need students, we need volunteers, we need travelers. Everybody has to come so that we can put our hands together to make sure we do what is needed.